Hi folks and welcome back to CNC Modeler. This week we're looking at a uh, DIY tool changer that I made from an overmill a while ago. Uh, key part of this is something called a Geneva gear which we'll go into in a bit um, but it effectively stages the rotation. So if you do like what you see please do subscribe to my channel it helps other people find the channel as does liking the videos and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button. So this is what we're uh, looking to try and create. It's a carousel that goes with my power draw bar. These are drawings from Denford's uh, Denford Data website that I'm basing everything on. So what we're going to do is a quick, really quick counter through the CAD. So we've got the Geneva gear and uh, the Geneva spur gear, I suppose you'd call it. And then you've got the motor. Uh, so I bought a motor that was roughly the right um, speed and uh, running that off 12 volts. And then there's a, a, if you like, a mounting bracket for that motor to hold it in the right place against relative to the gear. And that's on a central shaft. That shaft has the actual carousel mounted on it and that carousel is tied into the Geneva gear through a hub. So you can see where there's quite a lot of little holes in the gears and stuff. That was for screws to hold things together. And then these little uh, claws, if you like, that are sandwiched between the upper and lower uh, carousel plates. They um, are the things that the, uh, the um, BT30 tool holders sit in. And then the idea with that Geneva gear is it creates this type of motion where... Um, for part of the motion it's actually moving the carousel and you just see the little pin moves into the gear it moves it around and then when it's not um, in there's a semicircle on the other half of the uh, gear that holds against the cups in the outside of the Geneva gear so that's what pushes them around and this is all tied in intrinsically with the logic on the uh, built into the Nova mill um, and uh, if anybody's interested I can do another video on that so this is it in real life and you can see how that pin goes into the slots and moves it around but whilst it's moving the uh, the semicircular piece uh, locks into the outside of the gear to stop it rotating any further. So with the festive season rolling in I've uh, broken out some old footage and I uh, wanted to try and give you guys something good to look at over Christmas but I'm going to have to keep these videos short uh, just because I've not had a lot of time and my 3D printer has been playing me up like a lot I'm really frustrated with it in the moment so on that basis if you do uh, like we see please do like the video please do subscribe to the channel perhaps have a look at my website and if you want to see anything else well just have a look at the videos linked at the end so thanks very much for your time see you again next time cheers